Have you ever wondered how machine learning algorithms are able to distinguish between different classes of data? How does your email filter know the difference between spam and important messages? It all comes down to a technique known as Linear Discriminant Analysis, or LDA. Linear Discriminant Analysis is a statistical technique used in machine learning to find a linear combination of features that separates or discriminates between two or more classes of objects or events. Imagine you are at a party where guests are enjoying a variety of beverages. Someone blindfolds you and hands you a glass. Based on the smell, taste and temperature, you can probably guess whether it's coffee, tea or wine. That's pretty much what LDA does, but with data. The process of LDA begins with the assumption that the independent variables are normally distributed. It also assumes that the variances of these variables are equal across all levels of the dependent variable. The first step is to compute the means of each variable for each class of the dependent variable. The second step involves calculating the within-class and between-class scatter matrices. The within-class scatter matrix measures how much the individual class scatter around their mean, while the between-class scatter matrix measures how much the class means scatter around the overall mean. The third step is to compute the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the scatter matrices. These eigenvalues and eigenvectors represent the directions in which the data spreads the most. The fourth and final step is to sort the eigenvectors in decreasing order of their eigenvalues and choose the first k eigenvectors, where k is the number of classes minus 1. These chosen eigenvectors form a new space where the data points are projected. This new space maximizes the separation between the classes, making the data easier to classify. So let's revisit what we have learned. Linear discriminant analysis is a powerful technique used in machine learning for classification. It assumes normal distribution and equal variances for independent variables. The process involves calculating the means of each variable for each class, computing the scatter matrices, finding the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, and finally projecting the data points onto a new space that maximizes class separation. In essence, linear discriminant analysis is like a party-goer, blindfolded, trying to distinguish between different drinks. It's all about finding the right combination of features that best distinguish between classes. By doing so, it allows machine learning algorithms to make accurate predictions and classifications. So, the next time you see a machine learning model accurately classifying data, you'll know that it might be using linear discriminant analysis to make those decisions.